Hey guys, so it is the end of August and judging by the weather outside, the summer is officially over. Um, and it's cold, so I've got a jumper on. It might be like a summery color in the summer spirit, but it's a jumper nonetheless. Um, but it's time to show you the new products that I've got, and I've sifted through a bunch of different stuff to show you either the stuff that's new, new to me, um, that I've been using, or just that I um, think that you might like to know about and that I'll be using very soon. The first one is the Slip Pure Silk Pillowcase. This is an anti aging anti-sleep crease anti-bed head um, pillowcase basically it's just a silk pillowcase um, but they've kind of marketed it towards um, like more of a beauty type thing so it just helps that like, with the creasing if you like sleep on the side of your face because you tend to just glide across it so you're not going to get that friction that you might get with a normal pillowcase um, I really like it it's fun it hasn't got that um, it's almost got like a cool feeling which can be quite nice but it hasn't got that softness that you get with a um, with a regular cotton pillowcase I'll say that much but um, yeah if you're interested in that give it a go I really like it they're quite expensive um, so it's not a must-have item by any means but I like it it's fun um, in terms of skincare I'm really into products at the moment to create that um, flawless poreless glowing skin i find that really exciting i actually think that it's since i've started doing these videos on youtube that um when you do them it literally shows up everything that's wrong with your skin when you do the videos and i play them back and i'm like oh my gosh it seems much more um extreme than i look in real life so um i've kind of been looking at creating a skincare routine using products that kind of give me that extra glow and kind of blur out my skin to get more of a flawless look so what i've been using is the hyalamide photography foundation and what i'm doing is i'm mixing this with a bit of tinted spf and it's kind of like got a bit of a a silvery creamy shimmer to it and it um, it just kind of gives the skin like a glow and it's got the tiniest bit of coverage in like much less than um, like a Glossier uh, perfecting skin tint or something like that but it just kind of helps that add to the glow and something like that so I really like it and then with um, speaking of Glossier um, perfecting skin tint with that I've been mixing the um, Hylamide HA Blur. Now this has got like it's one of those like silicon products that like helps blur like a primer that helps like blur out your skin. This has also got hyaluronic acid in it. Um, I don't normally like these types of um, silicon products if I'm completely honest but what I will say is that when I mix this with my Glossier skin tint which I love it just helps create a little bit more of a flawless finish I've got it on now I've also got the photography fluid on now um, and yeah I just really like the result it gives my skin it's just that little bit extra whilst I still look do look um, relatively natural so yeah I'm liking that and it's also got hyaluronic acid in which is always good so it helps you put it on like the the top of your skin and it just helps like plump it up so it's really good with like um, fine lines and that kind of thing um, another oh gosh this is um, a cleanser from a brand called Royal Fern which I use now I was initially a little bit nervous about introducing this to you guys because the products are really really expensive um, I chose the cleanser because it's actually the cheapest product in the range and this costs 85 euros so I know like you're all going to be asking is it worth 85 euros um, I don't think that any cleanser needs to cost 85 euros because there are brilliant cleansers out there we all know for a fraction of the price but sometimes we just like a little bit of luxury it's fun um, do I think that you need to go out and buy this cleanser no um, but um, it's not going to give you anything that another cleanser won't but that being said I really like it I was worried um, that I wouldn't and that I would just have to kind of say that it's rubbish but I actually do really like it it's 
It's a strange one. It's got um, a really nice, luxurious. It's got the brand's called Royal Fern, and it's got like a a fern-like fragrance to it. It's almost quite. I want to call it like rich, masculine. The fragrance. It's kind of quite nice and fresh, but luxurious. I like it, but it's interesting as a as a balm. It's called a cle phytoactive cleansing balm. It feels more like a gel. When I smelt it with the fragrance and felt the texture, I was like, this is going to make my skin really, really dry and it's going to be horrible. And it wasn't. It was the most surprising thing ever. It's got this texture that you would think would be like, it's just going to dry out your skin, but it doesn't. It's very, very hydrating, incredibly hydrating, and I like it. So um, that's definitely going to be something as the weather gets cooler and then colder that I'm going to be kind of reaching for because when the heating goes on, my skin gets really dry and I need products that hydrate it, and this does that. It's also really good at taking off my SPF and any makeup that I'm wearing, um, which again is surprising considering the more like it's more like a gel texture than a balm. Um, but yeah, it's good. I like it. And I'm actually going to consider trying more products from the range because they've got some serums, some creams, that kind of thing. So yeah, we'll see um, what else they've got and I'll let you know. Another product that I've been loving is the Paula's Choice Resist. This is um, a serum. It's like a serum slash moisturizer it's just like a really nourishing cream for the face but it's like a lightweight cream um really like it it's got kind of omegas in it um it's got hyaluronic acid in it it's got antioxidants in it so it's got like multi you know it's a multi kind of beneficial product and i really like it it's nice and comforting and nourishing and good for the skin so if your skin feels like it needs um just healing, looking after, general maintenance, anti-aging. It's a really, really good product. Um, I've got a few products from a brand called MHV Hyperallergenics. I find this brand a bit of a mouthful. So we've got this here. So as you can see, there is tons of information on this packaging. So, and then we've got this here. Come on. So, what I found with these products is they annoyed me a little bit at first, if I'm completely honest. They're just, there's just so much information on the box. But with this one in particular, it's called the ID Mono Lauren Gel. Um, like it was like a gel but I was just like what is this is this a cleanser is this a toner is this an essence like like it says gel but I was just like I didn't know what it was and there was just so much information on there like it didn't give me the information that I actually needed really quickly and that really annoyed me so in terms of like the packaging and the information and the amount of stuff that they put on it I'm not mad about that but um in terms of the um the products themselves they seem really good this is basically like a lotion type moisturizer this is for kind of um like combination to oily skin and um, it's got um yeah lots of different ingredients in it i need to test it out a little bit further but i wanted to start kind of like introducing some products for different skin types because a lot of the products that I'm using myself and featuring are for kind of dehydrated skin or normal skin, but I get a lot of questions about products for oily skin and this is um, really, really good. I've tried it out a little bit, but I'm going to try it further and let you know. Um, and then also within the range, I've got um, a regimen for combination skin. This is really nice because everything's quite small, so you can... Um, you know, it's just more like an introduction. And then within this, you get a um, Hydro Balance Gentle Cream Cleanser for combination skin. And then you also get a um, Mandelic Acid Toner for combination skin. The packaging, besides it having loads of 
information on it. It's actually quite cute, the packaging. Um, I just found it a bit confusing at first. The Hydro Balance Smart Moisturiser for Combination Skin. Everything else is like a little bit easier to digest. It was just that initial product here in the blue bottle, being that it was a gel, it just didn't, it didn't make it very clear what exactly it was quick enough for me and it really really annoyed me. I've also got this product which I've been using quite a bit and I like. It's called the Mum and Baby Grandma Minis The Big Brave Boo Boo Balm. Okay so basically this is just a very simple balm. You can use it anywhere. I'm sure you can use it on a baby's bottom and I use it as a lip balm. You can use it as a little bit of art under eye cream on your nails. It's one of, it's basically just a multi-use balm, but I like it because it's natural pretty much. And it's got um, coconut derived monolaurin plus our clinically published cold pressed organic virgin coconut oil. So that's really good. Um, I'm gonna do a blog post on these products where I'll be able to speak to, about them in a little bit more depth, but this is more of just like an introduction. Another product for oily skin that I um, want to show you is by Good Science Beauty. This is really, really flipping cool. Um, I really like the packaging. This cute little bottle. They sent me this and basically this is, um, it's like a serum. But you can, what I love about this is whilst this isn't for my skin type, the texture of this is fabulous. So it's, it goes on, it feels hydrating, but it dries down to the most incredible matte finish. It's just, so for oily skin, it's just, um, it's wonderful. The, the finish on it, you can't really see here, um, but it's, it's, it's kind of drying down now. But what I like about it is that it's got that initial burst of hydration, but lightweight hydration. So even if you've got oily skin, you do still need to kind of, you still do need to nourish the skin. And I think that that's a lot of mistakes that people can make is that they strip away the oils, but then the, the skin tends to kind of go into overdrive mode and want to produce more uh, oil. But what it does is it kind of nourishes the skin, but then it just dries down to this finish that is just wonderful and it's lasting. I've been trying it on my hands and my arms and even on my skin, on my face and I just feel like it's really nice even though it's not particularly for my skin type because I haven't got oily skin. The last, oh no, I'm down to the last two now. Okay, so this is Patchology. They've got like a bunch of different products that work with patches and I've got Posh Peel Pedicure, which I'm really excited about. I don't know if you can see that. Focus. There we go. So these are basically advanced AHA BHA botanical blend. So they are like little socks that you put on and then you mix it with these little sachets and then you put the like little yeah the little socks on which are in here. All the instructions are in here. So you put these little socks on and then put them on and then they um I haven't used them yet and then they'll exfoliate your feet but I'm really excited because um, I'm going away next month in like a few weeks and I will be on the beach and I want nice smooth feet for that. The last product that I'm going to show you is um, by Glossier. It is the um, Mega Greens Galaxy Pack. This is a really nice detox mask for the face. If you can see that. Um, it's not too much. It's good for all skin types if you're just looking for a bit of a detox. So you can just use it on your, you know, your T-zone, your nose where you've got pores and then use something a little bit more nourishing everywhere else. Really like it. Not too strong, not too dry, but it gets the job done. Love Glossier products. I've only got plenty of good things to say about them. I've only had good experiences with them. But that's it, guys, for my uh, monthly favourites or things that are new. Um, let me know what your thoughts. If you've got any questions, um, let me know in the comments and I will catch you next time. Um, please don't forget to like, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye.